Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to connect your project to an external database or create your own. The first thing you need is a database with ODBC or OLEDB access. Notice that Calypso accesses directly to a database by ODBC or OLEDB. To show you how to do it, I'm going to use an SQL Server database located in my machine. I previously created an ODBC connection to it and I'm going to double click it inputting my credentials so that you can see. I've defined the default database, therefore doing it at the ODBC level. Now back to our designer, click on database in the toolbar or double click on the database in the project tree. This opens your project database and at left we press the add button to create a new database connection profile. Here we need to name the profile, I'm going to simply call it Calypso. And now we are going to select the ODBC connection that we want. Notice you need to define your ODBC data source as 32 bits. Finally, let's input our credentials. Press save or enter and our profile is created. Now, if you check your project tree, you'll see the created profile listed, and Calypso even tells us that this is an offline profile. This means that all the tables belonging to this profile will be created locally in the device. Therefore, we'll have to synchronize them with the server at a certain point. All this process is automatic, and you don't need to create any kind of database in your device. Calypso creates a SQLite database to hold the data. For all this to happen, we need to pull tables from the server to the project. To do it so, we select the database connection profile and here at the right press the add button, then next. Calypso connects to the server and lists all the available tables and views. To make it easier, we can filter the tables by owner. Now let's select the tables we want to use in our project. I'm going to select these ones and press next. Calypso displays us all the columns of each selected table, so we can select the ones we want. There's no need to select all the columns if you're not going to use them, and there will be no problem with the synchronization because Calypso has the ability to partially synchronize a table. For example, I'm going to uncheck the flag column, leave all the others and press next. We are now prompted to add more tables and we'll say no. Back to our database window, we'll see all the tables we've imported to the project. If we open the products table and move to the columns tab, it's possible to update the table. Imagine the following scenario. Your application is up and running in the devices and you get a request to implement a new feature who requires the use of an unused column. Due to Calypso's ability to keep data even when having to update a database structure, you can do this at any moment in the lifetime of our application. So, all we have to do is press the refresh button and select the columns we want and press import. The columns are added to the table and we save it. So far, we created an offline database connection profile. As discussed before, this requires a synchronization process to exchange data between the server and the device. Mainly for indoor applications, you might want to create an online database connection profile. This means that no database will be created in the device. Instead, all database operations will be performed on the server. If you create a record, it will be on the server. If you update a record, it will be on the server. To create an online profile, you should follow the same steps as an offline profile. So, let's fill the data. Let's click the Add button, I'm going to call it Calypso On. Now I'm going to select the same database to show you the flexibility of database usage in Calypso. This time I'm going to connect using an OLEDB type. Enter the server address, input the database name, input my credentials, Now, the only difference is that we are going to check this online connection property. 
As you can see, Calypso automatically selects our previously created TCP IP communication profile. TCP IP communication profiles are the only ones we can use for online database. That's it. We press save and our online database connection profile gets created. Just like for the offline database connection profile, we are going now to import tables from the database to the project. We press the add button like before, we press next, we filter, notice that we can import the already imported tables. Even if the profile pointed out to another database, that wouldn't be possible. A table's name must be unique within the project. Let's select some other tables instead. Notice that we can import views, but Calypso will acknowledge them as a stable. This is a view. Views are especially useful when working with online profiles, because we can aggregate and format data from several tables, at the server level, instead of the mobile device. Let's pull it into our project too. We press next, and next again, say no to not import more tables. Back to our database window, we see all the tables we have imported to the selected profile. Since the tables are associated with a profile, Calypso always know if they are online or offline. So, these are online, and these are offline. And, if you haven't noticed, there's a default database connection profile, named local. This profile is internal and cannot be edited. It allows you to create tables instead of importing them. The tables you define are only available in the scope of your project. They are considered to be offline and persistent tables. They are automatically created in the offline database of your project and cannot be synchronized. Local tables are especially useful to store persistent data or temporary data that you can later transfer to an offline table or simply export to a text file. Let's create a local table. Let's call it table1, create colon1, set it as numeric and primary key, and column2 setting it as varchar. Here's a general schematic on Calypso database connection profiles, with two profiles pointing to the same database, one set to online and another to offline. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about databases. See you on the next one.